Hey guys, welcome to Medicine Medicine. Today, we are up with another tutorial video in surgery and we are about to discuss one important triangle and that is Callot's Triangle. Callot's Triangle was first described by a French surgeon named Jean Francois Callot in 1891. This triangle is also known as hepatocystic triangle and is a small anatomical space in the abdomen. No triangle in surgery is complete without its boundaries. So, Callot's triangle is a triangle formed with apex directed towards liver and has superior border that is formed by inferior surface of liver, medial border that is formed by common hepatic duct, and inferior border that is formed by cystic duct. So, this description slightly differs from the original one, where cystic artery is considered as superior border of Callot's triangle. Let's clear our doubts about hepatocystic triangle or Callot's triangle. In figure, you can see hepatocystic triangle enclosing Callot's triangle with cystic artery as superior border of Callot's triangle. Since cystic artery has anatomical variations depending upon individual, the definition for boundaries of Callot's triangle was inconsistent. Therefore, surgeons and anatomists preferred using Definition of hepatocystic triangle as callus triangle which included inferior surface of liver as superior border of triangle providing a consistent definition for use. Now talking about contents of callus triangle, the triangle consists of right hepatic artery, cystic artery, lymph node of Lund and lymphatics. Now we shall discuss the significance of callus triangle. During laparoscopic cholecystectomy, the triangle needs to be carefully dissected by the surgeon. This will help the surgeon to take into account any anatomical variation in cystic artery and would also permit safe ligation of cystic duct and artery. Cystic duct is a structure to be removed along with gallbladder during cholecystectomy and this ligation is important because bile leak from cystic duct is a well-known complication of cholecystectomy and it can lead to various post-operative morbidities. And the most important part, proper dissection through Callot's triangle is essential to prevent injury to common bile duct. Failure of surgeon to assess Callot's triangle during laparoscopy may convert the surgery to open surgery. Let's have a brief discussion about lymph node of Lund which was first described by an American surgeon named Fred Betts Lund. This is also referred to as Mascagni's node and is the sentinel lymph node of gallbladder, which is the first lymph node to be involved in gallbladder carcinoma as well as the lymph node involved in cholelithiasis and cholecystitis. This lymph node serves as an important anatomical landmark in gallbladder dissection. Gallbladder is removed along with cystic duct close to its junction with common bile duct and this lymph node is located just above the point where cystic duct and hepatic duct join to form common bile duct. So this is an important anatomical landmark and this completes our session on Callot's triangle. Topics like this are important for our exams and viva but yeah it's human tendency to be forgetful about things. So we are here to help you. If we could help you a bit, please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe.